Um, it was it was pretty heartbreaking for me to not be in the finals. It was the Ultimate Fighter was something I've been working towards for the past three or four years. So you know, I, obviously, as everyone knows, I lost that semifinal fight against Kelvin, and that was something that really stuck with me every day in training camp these last four months. And uh, I really boiled on it, and um, and you know, use it as motivation every day in the gym. So um, you know, the fight against Kevin Casey was a, a really tough one, tougher than I thought it was going to be, in fact. But um, you know, I got it done. I know he's got a lot of good training partners, and uh, and also had some redeeming um, to do himself. So you know, I think it was a great fight. And I was just glad to be here. How tight was that triangle? The, t- the triangle was so tight, but I tell you what was really tight was the arm bar. And triangle is one of those things where you know if you don't tap, you you know you go to sleep and you wake up and you know shit, I lost. It it, it sucks, you know. But an arm bar is something that you know you can lose and you can you know really injure your limb and um, and be out of training for a long time. So the arm bar what was what was uh, really worried me, but um, you know I was able to uh, to get out of it and um, and continue on with the fight. You had some ridiculous defense with that. Can you explain <laughs> like how you went through that process and getting to defense? It, it, with the defense? I was yeah. trying to be as tactical as I could about. It and um, you know, just remember what my coaches had taught me to get out of it. And then at one point, it just turned into a oh shit moment, and just try to slam him as hard as I could to get out of it. <laughs> yeah, honestly, did you ever kind of go out from it? Or? No, no. Like I said, the triangle was tight, but it was the armbar that had worried me for sure. How's the arm feeling following that armbar attack? Oh, the arm's fine. The arm is fine. Everything's fine. I don't have any injuries. Um, you know, I'm gonna take a few days off. Um, I got a couple guys that are trying out for the Ultimate Fighter 18 in Vegas on Monday, so I'm gonna enjoy the weekend, uh, accompany them uh, on Monday, and then fly back home and um, you know see what uh, see what the UFC has in store for me next. What was your impression of, of Kevin Casey uh, coming into the fight? What, what did you expect from him? Um, you know, Kevin is a guy that got um, a lot of negative feedback um, while he was. You know, while the show was airing, um, um, you know, just for, for certain things that had happened. And I think that, you know, for those who followed the season and saw what had happened where him not coming off the stools, I think he legitimately had a medical you know, condition going on. Um, you know, I don't know what, um, you know, what uh, what his condition was coming into the fight. I know I spoke with him briefly beforehand, and he said the UFC had required some extra blood work and stuff to make sure that he was fit enough to fight, and I guess he had passed all the necessary tests. So, um, you know, I think that um, I, I didn't dislike Kevin at all, whereas a lot of people had a bad impression of him. I didn't dislike him, but, you know, uh, I just had to take care of business tonight, and that's what that was. Josh, do you think you should win a submission defense bonus? The <laughs> if they have those, Mike, I'd, yes. I'd, I'd sure take it. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> you had auditioned quite a few times for the Ultimate Fighter. Exactly how many times was it that you had auditioned for the show? I had tried out four times, and, and, and really it was a, a pretty um, crazy journey for me. Um, originally, the first time I tried out was uh, in Ultimate Fighter Season 10. Now, this is a story that they kind of um, kind of ran a little bit um, behind the scenes as this season was airing. But um, what had happened in that first tryout, um, I, I ended up tearing my quad muscle, and I got a bad blood clot. And there's it's actually a pretty big scar on my leg. Yeah, and so people ask what happened now. I just Joke around and tell him I was a shark bite, you know. But this is this is a serious, this is something really serious. Yeah, it's a blood clot. Um, it's a condition that, um, you know, I, I had family history of, and I, I almost lost this leg. And that was just the first time I tried out. And they didn't even take middleweights that season. That's the that's season that Kim. That's the season that Kim both <laughs> right. signed on, and they ended up, uh, you know, going with heavyweights. So this was just like an ongoing journey for me, an ongoing process, and, um, you know. As um, some people may know, I wasn't even going to come try out for the season 17. It was it was a couple of close friends of mine, um, Mitchell and Richard, their names, and um, they convinced me maybe a couple of days before the tryouts. Hey, man, you really got to go. You've tried out so many times. Uh, I'd be dumb to give up on your dream now. So it was kind of like a last minute, you know, uh, spur of the moment thing. And you know, uh, holy crap, I'm glad I did now. You know. <laughs> How badly do you want to fight against your if You know that should come to fruition now that you've won your. Yeah, I, I think I think that um, I think our paths will cross eventually. You know, um, I, I like I like Kelvin's chances tonight. You know, um, and I'm not just saying that because he beat me. I think that Kelvin um, has a lot of skills, brings a lot of skills to the table that could give Uriah problems. Um, you know, Kelvin is is uh, one of those guys where I didn't train with him, but you know, just from uh, listening to his teammates tra- um, that had trained with him on the show, you know, they all said that um, that for the most part he didn't get the better of really anybody in the training room. You know, just he was kind of mediocre at all things. But uh, he's a special fighter uh, in the fact that he puts all the pieces together while he's in there, and he's got an intensity about him that I really like and admire um, in a fighter. So I'm looking forward to this fight tonight. And see what happens. You seem pretty comfortable with all the media, you know, are you are you as comfortable in reality as you seem? Yeah, yeah, I'm really comfortable. Um, you know, this is something that, that, that you know, MMA consumes my life. I, I, I eat, sleep, and breathe it every day. Um, you know, this is this, this debut for me is something that is eight, eight or nine years in the making. I've been doing this since I was 16 years old. Um, you know, I, I have my own amateur promotion in Florida that, that you know, that I run. And, um, and so the media and stuff like that is, um, is, is not something that's new to me. It's something that, you know, that, that is um, necessary and part of the sport to help it grow, and I just want to do that. Kevin was really intense tonight and, and really committed to that submission ex- exchange, but 
slowly over time he started to wear. When did you realize that you know the the momentum really was swinging in your corner and you were probably going to get the finish? At the end of the first round, I think there was maybe a minute or two left in the first round, and he really was uh, he had a lot of a lot of high output in his submission attempts, and um, and um, you know he was really trying to land some heavy blows, and he did. He landed some heavy strikes, some heavy some heavy punches and elbows, and I could hear my corner just saying, just you know, just just hold on tight, hold on tight. He's going to get tired. He's getting tired. Um, so you know, I kind of just um, I kind of just just listened and held on and let him land at what he was going to land. I felt that he didn't have enough power to really stun me too much and, um, and I knew that sooner or later he would get tired um, and as soon as I was able to get up and, and get in the clinch then it was something that, um, that, that I knew would really wear him down even more. You tried out for the Ultimate Fighter many seasons before, and, and now you're here, and you're officially on the roster. Not even a, uh, you're not going to get another fight due to the show. You're going to get a fight yeah. because you have a fight uh, victory inside the UFC. What does that mean to you now to be a, a UFC fighter? Uh, it means a lot. It's everything. You know, it's everything every MMA fighter should want. You know, you don't, you don't. Um, you don't join this sport to uh, to fight anything less than UFC. If you do, then you're, you know you're not doing it right. So. Um, you know, I finally made it here, and, uh, and I just want to stay here. The whole experience has really been, um, has really been, uh, you know, a special journey for me. Um, just the, the the whole thing, you know, from from Burt backstage to Bruce Buffer, um, to all you guys here that are, uh, you know, that are making it all possible and making the experience, uh, you know, really, uh, really something special for me. Josh, are you happy with the way that you're portrayed in the show? Um, you know. I've gotten this question a few times, um, and it, it, being a heel uh, or, or whatever you guys want to call it, or however I'm portrayed on the show, you know, yeah, I, I was, I think I was portrayed negatively, and um, you know, that's not, it's not an actor that, that's on those, you know, on those clips. That's me. It's me talking, and um, you know, they, 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 they showed what they choose to show. But um, the important thing to me is that I'm striking a nerve in the fans somehow, whether it be not negatively or positively, as long as I'm invoking some emotion in them and that they're paying attention to me fighting. You know, I, you know. I, I, I'm fine with however you know however the fans want to see me as long as they're fans and they're watching watching me fight. Josh, what were your overall thoughts on uh, John Jones as a coach this season? Jones is a Jones was a good coach, you know. Um, you know, coming onto the show, I was actually a really big fail, fan of Chael's. Um, you know, I really, um, I kind of um, watched and studied Chael because I was intrigued by his uh, showmanship and his promotional abilities. Was something that that you know I thought was really cool and special. Um, but Jones is obviously you know number one or number two pound for pound fighter in the world. Um, he's my age. He's 25, 26, and he was still there, um, you know, almost every day, um, you know, making sure that his guys got better. Um, Jones was a good coach, but who I was really impressed by was his assistant coaching staff, um, John Wood, Frank Mir, Ricky Lundell, um, and those guys, Bubba Jenkins, um, all those guys, you know, really paid, paid a, a lot of uh, special attention to us and, um, and made sure that we were getting better uh, every day for the short time that we were there. Do you have a prediction for the uh, John Chelsea fight? You know, I, I think John is going to win, obviously. Um, one thing that really struck me about Chael was how freaking giant and huge he is. Um, and, you know, he was there training every single day with his team, um, you know, while, while the show was being filmed. And that was something that I thought was cool. And, um, you know, his reasoning behind that was as long as he's training and doing the things that his team's doing every day, he knows how they were feeling and he knows whether they're overtrained, undertrained. You know, he's, he's kind of in the, you know, on the, on the front lines with them, as he put it. So I thought that was a really cool and admirable thing that, that um, you know, kind of, um, kind of made an impact on me um, when it comes to Chael, but by all means, I think John is going to win. Josh, does this victory feel any different than the ones in the house? You know, coming into the fight, I tried to envision it kind of just as another fight in the house. Kevin Casey is one of those guys where I could have had to fight him at any given time on the house, especially if he won that wild card fight and made it to the semis. Um, but, you know, it does feel different. You know, I had 30 or 40 of my, my closest friends and family from Florida come with me um, for this fight. You know, the, and like I said, the whole experience, Bert, you know, Bruce Buffer, all the guys, uh, all the TVs and cameras, it's a, it's a little bit different than the show was. Um, so, no, it's not the same as, as having a victory on the show. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's something different altogether. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.